Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So I trust that you have watched the video just before this which introduces the basic idea of what we're going to be doing in grade 12 probability. Furthermore, if you do need to know your grade 11 probability for your final exams and so I do have a course available on the website. So let's say we've got these six, I think it's one, two, three, yeah, six people in front of us. Now we want to know in how many different ways could we arrange them in a line. So what we can see in front of us, that's one way of doing it. But of course we could move them around. So what we can do is we can open up six different positions like this. Now all you do is you, we're going to think about multiplying. So for the first position, how many people do we have available? Well, we could choose from this person, this person, this person, this person, this person, or this person. So that means we have six options available, okay? So let's say we chose this person over here. So I'm going to put the new order down at the bottom. Now for the next place, we have five options available. And let's say we chose this person over here. So that's going to be a five over there. And then by now you can probably see where this is going. But let's say for the next one, we chose this goal over here. And so we should put a three. Then for the next one, Oh no, that's a four, Kevin. Now we obviously have three people available. And let's say we chose this guy over here. So that's three. And then let's say we've, okay, well, there's two people left. So let's say times two. And so we chose this person over here. And then there's the one more person left. So we can just say times one. And so what we do now is we can multiply all of these numbers together. And that'll give us the answer. And that gives us 720. Okay, so remember when I said six over here, that was because there were six people I could have chosen, but we just decided to choose this one person. So this combination that we have at the bottom, that's just one of them, but we've just worked out that there could have been 720 different types. Okay, now we see here that we're going six, five, four, three, two, one. Whenever you're going from one number all the way down to one, then you could use this new thing that they show you in grade 12, which is the exclamation mark. Because what that means is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. But be very careful when you use this. Because many people, they sometimes put these little exclamation marks over here. And that is not correct. So I barely ever use that, to be honest. I like to just do it the more natural way. So we just say, like, that. Okay? But that option's up to you. So if you type in 6 factorial on your calculator, you should get 720. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take these six people again, but we're only going to choose three of them. Okay, so we're going to open up three positions. So for position number one, how many people could you choose from? Well, all of them are there, so we could choose six people. So let's say we chose this goal over here. Then we have five people available. So let's say we chose this guy here. And then obviously for the last one, we have four people available to choose from. And that's it. You then multiply everything together and you get 120. Now teachers, or many of them, they go to use this weird formula over here. Now let me explain where that comes from. That's when you would use this type of formula. So n is the number of people that we have available. So that would be 5, sorry, 6 factorial. Then r is the number of people that we chose. So we chose 3. So we'd say 6 minus 3 and then you'd get a factorial. So, what does 6 factorial mean? Well, 6 factorial means 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. At the bottom, 6 minus 3 is 3, and 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. So look what happens. The 3's cancel, the 2's cancel, and the 1 cancels. And so we simply left with what we had over here in the first place. So it's up to you what you want to do. Just make sure you understand clearly what you are doing.